Let us now consider the microscopic features of penis. I am grateful to Dr. Michael Hosh of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections. Penis has a root in the perineum and a shaft or the body, which is part of the external genitalia region. Penis is made up of three erectile columns, a pair of corpora cavernosa dorsally and a corpus spongiosum ventrally. At the distal end of the shaft, the corpus spongiosum is enlarged to form the glans. Glans is covered by a retractable fold of foreskin called as prepuce. Corpus spongiosum is traversed by urethra and urethra is transverse slit-like in the penis but becomes wider in the glans at the navicular fossa. Here, we are seeing a section of the penis showing a pair of corpora cavernosa dorsally and corpus spongiosum ventrally. The two corpora cavernosa are separated by septum of penis proximally, but the septum is incomplete in the distal part of penis as we can see here. Here, we are also seeing the transverse slit-like lumen of the urethra in the corpus spongiosum. Shaft of the penis is covered by thin skin, but this thin skin is devoid of hair follicles or glands, except for the smegma producing glands in the glands region. Skin on the shaft is loose and mobile, as the underlying fascia are loosely adherent. However, skin is immobile on the glands, because there the skin is adherent to tunica albuginea. Skin is also thinnest on the glands, making it appear bluish due to the underlying venous blood. Beneath the skin, the penis is covered by dartos layer and bux fascia. Dartos layer is a loose connective tissue layer that is devoid of fat and it contains few smooth muscle fibers which are extension of dartos muscle. Bux fascia is the deep fascia of penis made up of dense connective tissue. Bux fascia blends with tunica albuginea that covers all the three erectile bodies and tunica albuginea is made up of outer longitudinal and inner circular layers of elastic fibers. Bux fascia contains dorsal vessels of penis and tunica albuginea contains the deep vessels of penis. Corpora cavernosa are made up of spongy erectile tissue containing smooth muscle trabeculae and large irregular sinusoidal spaces lined by endothelium. Corpus spongiosum is covered by thinner tunica albuginea and it contains larger sinusoids plus it is traversed by penile urethra which is lined by stratified columnar epithelium or pseudostratified columnar epithelium. This lining epithelium becomes stratified squamous non-keratinized epithelium in the navicular fossa and it becomes keratinized epithelium at the external meatus. A number of urethral and paraurethral glands which secrete mucous secretions are also found in the wall of penile urethra. So quickly recalling what we have seen so far, penis is made up of three erectile columns dorsal corpora cavernosa and ventral corpus spongiosum. Penis is covered by thin skin, dartos layer and bux fascia from outside inwards. Erectile columns are covered by tunica albuginea and they contain smooth muscle trabeculae separating large irregular sinusoids which are lined by endothelium. Corpus spongiosum is traversed by urethra. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos.